Often Racing on the way for Division 2 of this 5 and upwards ma Mare's Maiden. Mel Cabby in the light yellow colours on the inside is up there with Midway to Getaway and also prominent Liz Lawler aboard Rat Kenty Light. They're amongst the leading three or four at the moment as they go down the side now to fence number two of the 15 in this contest. So it's Rath Kenty Light for the Lawler family out there on the outside with Milk Abbey. Right up there between horses in the centre is Midway to Getaway. These are the three leaders as they fan out jumping fence number two. Again, all over it safely. Amongst those towards, towards the back end of the field is Ockburn Bridge, who is a bit flighty on the way to the start, but they're all still intact this field. And now they race across the top section for the first time. Melk Abbey is up there sharing the lead with Give Us A Cuddle, who's come through, taking a pull to share for the advantage. After these in third place, then we have Midway to get away as they enter the home straight. No babysitters, another one who's come through into the leading half dozen as they rise at this next fence. So over fence number three of 15 and a new leader, horse with the white blaze in its face has come through to lead. That's Give Us a Cuddle and Liam Gilligan going on now to lead by two lengths. Through into second is no babysitter, the early prominent trio of Milk Abbey midway to get away and Rathkenty Light, they've dropped from the first three places now to be third, fourth and fifth. And this leaves in front, give us a cuddle. Galway Raider is up there in company with no babysitter. They're one and two as they head out onto the second circuit. Give us a cuddle, a length in front from no babysitter. Break then of eight lengths to Milk Abbey. Get away, midway to get away is in third, share of third with after these in fourth place on the outside is Rathkenty Light. Into the back straight they race once again and that's Give Us A Cuddle. Two lengths or so in front from in second place is No Babysitter. Melkabi's in third, fourth is Midway To Get Away. Rising at this fence in fifth place is Rathkenty Light. After that one in sixth is Cottage Kitty in the purple silks. And then in midfield there, we have Jessica Jones, the grey colours with the red cap, also heading towards the mid division of the race at the moment is uh, Nakanora Lady, sits about eighth. And that one in turn is followed by the grey, which is victory sign, Liam Casey's runner. Only red is second last as they rise at this next fence. And the back marker now, Bernard O'Neill, he's riding aboard Ockburn Bridge. Burren Bridge is tailing off completely. They have covered about a mile and a half and now are across the top once again. And that's Give Us a Cuddle and Neil Gilligan, two and a half lengths in front from Milk Abbey and Chris O'Donovan, who's sharing the second spot with uh, up there, sharing second spot is No Babysitter and Johnny Hurley. These three lead by five or six lengths from Sean Staples on Midway to Get Away. That one is racing along in fourth place. In turn, there's a break after these to in fifth. We have got Jessica Jones, who's sharing that position with Cottage Kitty. And then making some ground from the back of the field is Brian Dunleavy aboard. Victory sign, the grey the gray horse in the race. Then also still towards midfield is Nakanora Lady. They've gone past halfway and they're coming over seven from home. And over this one, not much between the front three. And they are in the centre. Give us a cuddle. On the near side is Milk Abbey and on the outside in the green and yellow colours is no babysitter. So the three over the next fence and clear from the rest of the field. So a lap to go and five to jump and Milk Abbey for Tom Barry's yard has come through to just poke her head in front from in second place is Give Us A Cuddle. Third position, still close up, no babysitters. A break of seven or eight lengths then to Midway to Getaway, who's in fourth. Rounding the bend into the back straight in fifth place then is Nakanora Lady, who's creeping a bit closer for Evan Dwan. And then we have got, after this group,
Next up is Peg's Theatre, who's made a few positions from the back of the field and the white colours improving for Shane O'Rourke. And after that one is Cottage Kitty and Victory Sign as one who made a mistake there and is dropping back is no babysitter. Last of those in the group in contact is Jessica Jones. About six furlongs out and four more to jump. And that's Milk Abbey just about leading here now. Milk Abbey going on from in second place now is midway to get away. Ridden on the outside is the early leader and struggling uh, to hold his position is give us a cuddle. So over this next one and Milk Abbey and Chris O'Donovan begins to forge on now. Leads by some three or four lengths. Second place now coming out of the pack is Ebend One aboard Nakanora Lady. In third place is Midway to Get Away. And fourth with a chance here is Peg's Theatre. And this quartet go on then from back in fifth, staying on is Jessica Jones. And just in behind Jessica Jones in sixth place is Cottage Kitty and the rest have dropped out completely. So they turn into the home straight with three fences facing them before the winning post. In front, Melk Abbey. Nakanora Lady comes there to challenge. Jessica Jones is getting onto the heels of the leaders with Midway to get away and then Peg's Theatre as they come over this fence and it is still Melk Abbey galloping on well in front from Nakanora Lady. Midway to get away, Peg's Theatre and Jessica Jones. Only five left going as they come down to the second last. Melk Abbey at the second last jumps it really well from Peg's Theatre into second. Knocking all the ladies in third and midway to get away. And Jessica Jones one to jump and Chris O'Donovan is on for a personal double on the day as it comes down to the last aboard Milk Abbey. Still three in front and over the last she goes. It's the local horse from Tom Barry's yard. Milk Abbey out clear from in second place Peg's Theatre. And as they go to the finish, it's going to be Milk Abbey winning by four or five in the end. Second home was Peg's Theatre. Break then back to find in third place was Nakanora Lady and last of four in a four finisher race was Jessica Jones. The result of the second division of the fourth race. First number 28, Melk Abbey. Second number 4. Third number 26. And fourth number 23.
The winning distance is 5 lengths, 50 lengths and 5 lengths. 28, 4, 26 from 23, 5 lengths, 15 lengths and 5 lengths.